What's up world, I'm Mr. Vaca, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the new Google Meet user interface. Quick disclaimer, this is going to be part of a two week rollout. So if your Google Meet hasn't updated yet, don't worry, it's coming within the next two weeks. As always, I tell my teachers, start off by going to google.com, make sure that you're logged into the right account in the top right corner, and then click on the Google app icon, and then you'll find Google Meet. I'm just gonna launch a instant meeting by clicking new meeting right here. I'm gonna start an instant meeting and you'll see this brand new user interface design. Another quick disclaimer, what you're seeing right here is the Education Plus version, which has shifted to a $5 a year per student account. So without further ado, let's check out this new design. You can see here on the bottom that the buttons have been repositioned. And on the far left, you have the mute mic button. You can see if you're muted by having it red with a little line through it. And if you've unmuted yourself, it looks gray. Same thing with the camera button. You can turn your camera off, turn it back on. Next is your closed captions icon. Then you have the raised hand button followed by the present now. This present now feature has been reworked entirely. Google for Education has been listening to all the feedback from the teachers, especially about that you're presenting now box that takes up a huge chunk of the screen. Now, when you present, and if you click either your window, your entire screen, if I click my entire screen and now click, and now that huge box is gone and been replaced with this top bar saying, you're presenting to everyone and you can get a better view of all of your students. I'm gonna stop presenting my screen and you can see now we have the more options button is right there where you can still get, this hasn't changed very much, the format, the layout is still the same, but the end call button is now shifted all the way to the right hand side of that grouping of icons. Now over to the right, we used to have at the top right hand corner, the people and the chat and the more activities button, but that's now been moved to the bottom. They've moved that to be part of the bottom bar right here. And you have your meeting details. You have the show everyone. I'm the only one in this meeting, but this is pretty much the same. You have your add people, mute all the host controls, and then you have your chat box feature right here where you can chat with everyone. And the activities button is right here. This activities is part of the education plus. And now you have a few more options in this activities icon. You used to just have breakout rooms, polls, and Q&A, but now you have recording, which used to be part of the more options. You can still do the recording if you wanted to click here. You have the record meeting, but it's a lot easier, in my opinion, with this new feature right here and the whiteboarding option where you can open up a Jamboard right here by clicking the button. You're going to start a new whiteboard or if you've already created a new jam, you can open that jam from your drive. I'm just gonna create a new jam and you'll see that it opens up this new window tab. But if I go back, I can look right here, the Jamboard files are right there and the students will be able to click whiteboard right here and be able to get to that jam file. They'll also be able to look right here in the chat window and that link for the jam file will appear right there. And that's about it. Nothing too crazy, just made it a little more streamlined and more user friendly. I'm curious to hear your feedback about this new user interface design. So let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, share it with your colleagues. And most importantly, don't forget to work hard, play hard, and I'll see you next time.